Alright guys, hello. So, I kind of wanted to show you this little monster down there. He's an elite mob. And he does what the uh, the tree guys do. Like they spawn in infinite, well not infinite, but a large chunk of mobs. Is it these guys? I haven't been here before. Is it these tree guys? Uh, these guys. Uh, the Merrimock ruins tree people. Um, this where I am right now, I'm fighting these little uh, creatures down there. 165 AP, the Wargon's Nest. Uh, people say not to come down here because it's pretty bad. <clears throat> Near the Bashrams. Uh, quite close to the desert. Pretty close to the Crescent, but I was want to kind of show you um, what they do. Like, I think they're quite cool. They're dropping these things at the moment. 3.3 um, uh, AK for the Marketplace for Blood, and then these sell for uh, 1.8. Rest of the stuff's kind of junk, uh, pretty crap. But uh, I'm gonna jump right in. Um, just give me a buff. All right, and we'll start killing them. As you can tell, see, um, quite a tanky mob. Um, 221 AP. But as you can see, they do what those um, or, m those tree things do. They spawn in the all the the little mob baby mobs, which is quite nice. And you can farm these little ones, and they drop loot for you still. Uh, there's quite a few of these around. This is like the fourth one. I've only been here for about five minutes. Uh, they do go underground and they do do a little um, dip away, but it's fine because you want them to come back up and they'll spawn up more of their little babies. So you kind of just sit here and deal as much damage to it as possible, really. Kill as much as you want here. Um, so it's kind of cool. It's not really anywhere special. I don't know if you can make money out of this. You probably could if you rarely farmed it and hit it hard and whatnot, maybe. I don't actually know. They don't drop anything too great either, apart from like um, uh, the black stones. So I've got 22 and 7. We'll see how many you actually get when we kill this creature. But it's quite cool. I found, I, I don't know if it's common or well known over here, I just decided to come and explore for uh, some of the knowledge points so I can get some more energy, which is I did actually gain an energy as soon as I came here and got the rank of two of these creatures. There's only the sand worms that I don't have knowledge of right now. But as you can tell, they are quite tanky, even though I've got 210 AP and I've got some decent stuff on. Uh, almost full boss. Uh, uh, didn't drop me anything that time. But, as you can see, you can get a bunch of these. I've killed about four now. They drop you nearly a hundred of these stone wagon hides. Or war waragon hides. And, yeah. Sure. Maybe not cram packed with the mobs, but I just thought that was quite a unique area. That's just like, you don't come to these areas that often and whatnot. Well, this is my first time being here. you got all these little buttons little ones and everything around. Uh, you got some of the lizards, so there we go. The sandworm I still haven't got the be uh, a knowledge on. Uh, but they are kind of tanky. I um, just thought that'd be quite fun. Uh, so I thought I'd just make a quick little video on killing the beast and uh, showing you what they do. Uh, see if you guys want to come and check it out, get some knowledge, or just you know, ignore it. It's up to you. So. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you whenever.